on to listen to what I've got to say today and share it to your friends if you can. If you got friends also that love to do weight training in a gym or does repetitive patterns due to a sport, this is the video they need to listen to because this video, guys, is an eye-opener. You need to open your eyes and see what's happening out there. Now, here's what happens this week. I had a client that walked in on Monday and she had a frozen shoulder. Now, for a lot of people that don't know what that is, it's called adhesive capsulitis. It's called a loss of range of motion. She barely could lift her arm higher than almost 90 degrees of abduction. And she asked me, Patrick, why is that? Well, guys, that is a very hard question to answer because for a lot of physiotherapists out there, I've been told that um, basically frozen shoulders come into uh, your life for no given reasons and also leave for no given reason. So a lot of physios will tell people suffering from that kind of condition that it will eventually get away as you loosen the symptoms in the shoulder. Well, today I'm going to give you an answer and a theory behind everything there. And I started looking at my books and uh, Robin McKenzie actually said it best in um, her uh, show, a Frozen Shoulder book. She said it can come from many, many different uh, factors out there. It could be environmental factors, a repetitive motion due to sports if you're playing tennis, you're smashing overhead, it's uh, postural stresses, it could be from overreaching, it could be from uh, standing long periods of time with poor posture, it could be sitting with poor posture, but often it's about overreaching, guys. So this video is about the ultimate trick, which is learn to uh, basically stop overreaching. We, everything we do, uh, the way we work, we need to be smarter in the way that we train. And a lot of people think that full range of motion means really going the distance with those weights. Well, guys, it's very important that you understand that overreaching, and what I mean by overreaching is very simple. You grab a bar, you're on the bench press, you're starting, you're finishing your motion, and you see that your wrists are in line with your chest, you got full extension on that elbow, but you're giving that extra little up, down. Like, so you're, it's kind of like trying to trigger the serratus interior to get more stability. Well, guys, if you're training and you're doing repetitive pattern overloads on that shoulder joint, every time you go to overreach, you're going to put unnecessarily uh, stress on capsule ligaments. You're going to irritate the rotator cuff tendons. You're going to damage, basically, let's say you're looking at a knee, basically, just like this, right? So you're, there's basically cartilage tissue and you're just basically damaging basically that tissue on that bone and that creates a loss of synovial fluid, loss of range of motion and it will uh, finish in shoulder arthritis. And shoulder arthritis is something that attack people from the age of 18 all the way to your 70s. So basically there are a hundred types of our osteoarthritis out there and you need to understand that all many of those conditions come from basically overreaching. So another good example, you're doing a one arm row, okay? The, the range of motion would be to grab the dumbbell and to pull up, not to go too far, but people will rotate as they go up. And, and there's an overextension of that shoulder, but it, it goes further down there. They'll take that dumbbell, and as they're here, and they're full range, full, fully stretched, they'll go, go forward, and I'm gonna get my last really stretch. Well, every time that heavy dumbbell pulls down, and that heavy humerus goes out of the sockets, basically what you're doing is putting strain on those uh, cartilage tissues, you're putting strain on those ligaments of that capsule, you're actually irritating that rotator cuff and this is where it comes from guys, this is where the problem comes from. So be mindful of how you train, even when you do let's say a good example, I'm going to do a, a, an overhead press, I'm going to start from here, I'm going to go all the way up and this is pretty much where I can go and if I want to do 
an extension, I'm just going to reach, right? You're going to touch them together, and there's a slight overreaching again, and it irritates, and everything you do basically irritates all the components of that shoulder. So the ultimate trick is to stop overreaching. Reassess the way you look at your movement. Your range of motion should be on going down until basically there's maybe a little bit of internal rotation. So basically I'm going to stop before that. So I've got my full range of motion pending my flexibility and then I will not overreach. So basically it's called the art of knowing where to reach guys. The art of reaching. Okay, stop overreaching because eventually it will not attack you right away. You might be young, you're 18 years old, you're strong, but down the line, overreaching will cause shoulder conditions and arthritis to seep in. And arthritis can go anywhere. It can be in the uh, glenohumeral uh, joint, it can go basically in the AC joint, it can go in the clavicular where the sternum attaches, it can seep in anywhere. And once it's in, uh, remember arthritis is inflammation. So basically it's a little harder to get rid of. So guys, very important today, share this video, tell people stop overreaching, respect your range of motion. No internal rotation where the head of the humerus goes up north and impinges. I'm starting where I'm not impinging. I will finish in a way where I'm not overreaching, okay? And putting unnecessarily stretch on the shoulder. And that, guys, is the key to avoid postural stresses and most important of all, um, arthritis from seeping in from a young age to a later age. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please share it to your friends. Tell people to reevaluate the way they're trained. And this is the Stretching Samurai. Thank you again.